Let's take a Bible's place. Second Kings chapter 6. Iweke jawoba urikefa. Verse 24. Crushing your siege. Rerun idotire. Crushing your siege. Rerun idotire. We have a strange battle to fight for a few minutes before we leave this place. The few battles, the, 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 the strange battle will last us for about seven prayer points. A strange battle against a strange weapon of the enemy that, that the enemy has used effectively. That's all we need to do today before we go. In 2 Kings chapter 6, from verse 24, if you have a Yoruba Bible, just follow us as I read. Second Kings 6, 24. And it came to pass after this that Ben-Hadad, king of Syria, gathered all his hosts and went up and besieged Samaria. And there was a great famine in Samaria. And behold, they besieged it until an ass head was sold for four square pieces of silver and the fourth part of a cab of dove's dung for five pieces of silver. They were selling excreta of animals. The king had besieged the city. And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him saying, Help me, my lord, O king. And he said, If the lord do not help thee, when shall I help thee? Out of the barn floor or out of the wine press? And the king said unto her, What elect thee? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son that we may eat him today, and we eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son and did eat him. And I said unto her on the next day, Give thy son that we may eat him. And she had hid her son. The siege was so terrible, people were eating their own children. And it came to pass when the king had the words of the woman, he rent his clothes and he passed by upon the wall. And the people looked and behold, he had sackcloth within upon his flesh. Then he said, God do so to me and more also, if the head of Elisha, the son of Shaphat, shall stand on him this day. But Elisha sat in his house and the elders sat with him. And the king sent a man from before him. But before the messenger came to him, he said to the elders, See ye how this son of a murderer had sent to take away my head. Look, when the messenger come out, shut the door and hold him fast at the door. It's not the sound of his master's feet behind him. And while he yet talked with them, behold, the messenger came unto him and said, Behold, this evil is of the Lord. Why should I wait for the Lord any longer? And then, chapter 7, verse 1, Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, Tomorrow, about this time, shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Thank you, Jesus. A siege is an art or process of surrounding and attacking a place. In such a way as to isolate it from help, isolate it from supply. A siege is a strategy of resisting the enemy and making capture possible. A siege is a method to lessen the resistance of the enemy. A prolonged, persistent effort to overcome a resistance. In a siege, free movement is prevented to and fro from a place. 
It seeks a strategy to surround the place and cut it off from communication. The Roman soldiers used this siege a lot. In those days, they will just come to a city. They will surround the city. Nobody comes out. Nobody goes in. Nobody can bring in supply. Nobody can come and greet anybody. The people in the town cannot come out. It was a terrible situation. In Jeremiah chapter 52. Jeremiah 52. I read from verse 1. Look at an example of what we are talking about. You've seen one example. Let's look at another one. Jeremiah 52, 4. Jeremiah 54. And it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign. In the tenth month. In the tenth day of the month. That Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon came. He and all his army. Against Jerusalem. And pitched against it. And built forts around it round about. So the city was besieged unto the eleventh year of King Zedekiah. And in the fourth month, in the ninth day of the month, the famine was sore in the city so that there was no bread for the people of the land. Then the city was broken up and all the men of war fled and went forth out of the city by night by the way of the gate between the two walls for about two years Nebuchadnezzar Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, of Babylon, mounted a powerful siege against Jerusalem. Odoti, Jerusalem. The enemy built a wall around the city. Odoti, the enemy set a stronghold around the city. They therefore converted the city to a large prison. The people of the city were imprisoned in it. The enemy ensured that nobody brought in goods, nobody brought in food, nobody brought in anything. Nobody in the city was receiving friends. No external visitors. The enemy made sure that nobody escaped from that city. Nobody escaped into liberty. Please note. The enemy did not go violently inside the city. No shot was fired. No one was killed. No house was burnt. No slaves were taken. Nobody was kidnapped. They just stayed around. And surrounded with soldiers. Life appeared to be going normally in the city to start with. That is for those who did not know that there is a problem outside. Things were going as normal. I won't come Lord, they, they. But the hard truth was this. That although there was no visible violent action. All was not well within that city. The enemy outside the city had started to cause hardship within. Until the men of war fled. The men of war fled at night. It was a siege. Where are we going? Satan adopts this same strategy and approach against individuals, cities, nations, and families. Satan the Ben Haddad we read in 2 Kings chapter 6. 
It is not kill anyone. He never went to the city to cause destruction. He stayed outside and, and, and controlled event disastrously for the people inside. It was like a remote controlling evil power. I am praying for somebody here. Any power that is remotely controlling your life from your place of birth. Any power that controls your life at night, I decree by the decree of heavens that you must be set free now. In the name of Jesus, let your amen roar like thunder. In the name of Jesus, outside there was so much food. Inside there was famine. Outside there was so much life. But inside was death. Outside there was so much joy. Inside was sorrow. Outside, was, outside there was so much darkness. But outside there was light. There was so much peace outside. But turbulence inside. Any good thing coming to that city was prevented or diverted. So good things were not allowed into the city. On the contrary, Every evil thing, death, hunger, disease, sorrow, fear, found access into the city. A siege is therefore a terrible thing. Even in our modern world, powerful nations use this method against some other nations. They may not send soldiers of that nation to fight. But they subject it to worse hardship by isolation. To ensure diplomatic economic session against a nation. Other nations will boycott the market of that nation, they will boycott their goods, so hunger will be striking in that nation. At other times, the siege could be a general embargo. Nobody's buying from you, nobody's selling to you. They may even decide that they are not going to. Participate in any sport you are participating in. When there is a siege like this, tension is built up inside that country. Until the people themselves revolt against their leadership. I gave you this explanation so you know where we are going. Beloved, Ara, there are individuals, families, communities, cities, nations that are under siege spiritually. They face no war. They are never violently attacked. They are not raided or slain. But things are not normal. Other communities may have good roads. When a community is under siege, their contractors will run away. Other communities may have good hospitals. But a community under siege, the doctors will run away. They won't stay. Others may have very good buildings. But in that community, Immediately the building is put there, the building collapses. Other communities may have good schools, good teachers. But a community under siege, no teacher, no school. Every the builders will even flee. 
Chigbo in luto bela be idoti. Koni si le we toda. Koni sa ngo luko toda. Koda ngo to ya koko ngwa sa. Other communities may have water supply and electricity. Awe in luto no one le ni omi ero. One le ni ina mano mano. But a place, a place under siege. Even when they bring the equipment, the equipment will not work. Chigbo in luto bela be idoti. Be want ya ko ni si ngwa o ni si she. The good things they hear happen to people outside never happen to them. I won't call it anything. I won't go and share less. I won't love you. I love you. Go and share less. I won't. Whoever bring good things into the city does not prosper. And if I need to buy more, go and share less. I won't. Go and share less. In individual lives, you know, there are plenty of clever sieges. Oh, for love, for it, don't you love me? Well, oh, that the enemy has mounted up. Do you want to be careful? This is where. Dismantling prayer is needed. If it are to one in law, I want to do that. It took a car to the wire. A lady under siege. Oh, my beauty, don't be like a dirty. May not get any serious marriage proposal. Oh, the man here, the can it to share your giddy latty. What then? The only man she gets, I also just want to sleep with her and mess her up. I want to call it to you, my dear. No, call you around. I want to confess by last year for cons. She was something scares away all the good men. Oh, come out, Tanya. I want to call it to the son. A person under a siege. And it don't be like a dirty. Everybody will get a benefit. So, when you are in Faniba, for some reason, they will omit his name. You want to know what I'm going to know. I'm not asking. A person under a siege. And it don't be like a dirty. When a positive thing is taken towards the destiny. That is a range from the bottom of hellfire. The person under a siege. And it don't be like a dirty. Any time he gets a good, she gets a good marriage proposal. Igba kiba. To ba re ni gidi koko denu koko fe fe. A demon power will go to the man at night and warn him. Say, "Don't marry that woman. Get out." Emiye shukwa lo lo ru lo kilo muro kuni be akwe. Ma she fe le yo. So go she mo. We have had cases like that. Iru she lebe ti wa. Immediately the sister receives a proposal. Nikete ti alabi no ba ti re ni denu ko. Some powers will go and harass the man to run away. Awo agbara kwa lo halle mo kuni. And all the men kept running until that siege was broken. Go go awo kuni on once in Dubai. Avi ba ti doti on four. When I say siege upon a business. Ni ba ti doti ban be lo disi owo. The enemy drives away all goodness. Ota yo le go go ishere ne ko be. People will sit and say this is very good. This is very good. Very nice, but they won't buy it. I went in Ari, when I lay my dog, Jaima, you must show more. Why they say siege against children? Nobody don't even want to listen to me. They bring sorrow to the parents. Why my fight, but you just want to. Why they say siege against a career? Nobody don't even want to listen to me. You find those who are not as good as you in the career making progress, but you are not getting anywhere. Oh, require what you to let me share. I want to see what you should go on. Why is it that they say siege against your finance? Nobody don't even want to listen to me. You know where you are spent your last. Cobo, your last money and you are in debt. More money do not come in. Have you got to ban no bobo water? Wa lo wa le tonto oti jebe se owo tutu tu ni wale. When a person is under a siege, other people may get things easily. They will find it very hard. You got to in your ban bela be doti. Kon le ma wa fun wa in your yoku ni ronu. You money ti to dore yo le koko. Many people misbehave when siege begins to come. O kolo ko ni asi berezi shi wa u. You got to doti ba di desi wa. What we men make a man of God to run away from the battle. Oh, do you make your jiji allow no sacro lo jogo? Se siege. I do it. What you make a prayer warrior to commit suicide? Oh, do you make a father a jago pokuso? A siege. I do it. What you make somebody who has learned the Bible and who was a preacher is now learning incantation? Oh, do you make a nito jani wa asu? Do you copy me? Do you have sorry? Do you want long copy a thing before? What you make a born again Christian? Oh, do you move, Christ? Then he told you that to be to now scrape all his hair. Go out far, go go in order. And begin to worship an idol. Go see Brazil, go reach out. The siege. He do it. What to make an adult sister? Oh, do you move, you believe? To just balaga. To sell our body to a satanic prophet because of miracle. Go to another fool. Go live satanic. Need to reach a yano. It's a siege. He do it. We are praying here today. I will do that. The at every siege that is standing against anyone, to do this, any will be scattered by the power of the Holy Ghost. A siege, is when what God has sent to you does not get to you. A siege is when people are asking you, "Why is your God?" A siege is when your groaning supersedes your glory. 
debt overrules your credit. It is when laughter is very scarce and your whipping is very common. It is when your life has more questions and answers. I issue a decree from this altar that every demonic siege against anyone here today shall expire now. You shall expire. 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 He shall expire. He shall expire. In the name of Jesus. Let your heaven roar like thunder. When God wanted to address the siege of Samaria. He released a prophetic word. Say, tomorrow. By this time. The siege will be over. A 24 hour breakthrough. I prophesy upon somebody here. Within 24 hours. Your siege will be over. In the name of Jesus, your siege will be over. In the name of Jesus. A prophetic word was released. Noise came from heaven. And scattered the siege. Scattered the siege. Listen. It was many years ago. We were still at a place called Old Diaba Road in Mountain of Fire. This is before 1994. And Igbo man and his younger brother came to me. Crying bitterly. I said, what's the matter? What's the matter? It was July, they came, July. That year, beginning from the January to July, they had lost 19 persons in the family. 19 people had died within seven months in the same family compound. Dead of the whole family only that brother and his younger brother remain too. and they say every night something is telling them get ready it's your turn get ready it's your turn that's why I'm professor for somebody here any power that wants you to die shall die in your place your amen is not loud enough I said they shall die in your place in the name of Jesus And I heard the voice of the Lord. I said, son, this is a siege. This is a siege. Give them prayers to pray. And I gave the man only one prayer point. Say, oh Lord, ordain terrifying noises against my enemies. Because it was terrifying noises the siege of Samaria hell had and they fled. I said, but I've never had that kind of prayer before. They don't pray it in our church. 
Then I educated him further. Strange problems. Requires strange prayer. Deep problems. Requires deep problems. Mysterious problems. Requires mysterious prayer. So I said, wake up 12 midnight. And start the prayer. 12 midnight. He stood in the center of his room and started prayer. Unfortunately, he had not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And it's a deficit if you're a Christian and you don't have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He started praying. He said, only by the time he prayed for 10 minutes, that in his life, he had never had the kind of heavy artillery bombardment of guns that were fired against him. He said he was there during the Nigerian Civil War, but the kind of bombardment of weapon artillery bomb he was hearing was terrible. And God opened his eyes. He saw the bullets coming against him. The artillery coming against him. But there was an angel by his side. As those things were coming, the angel was just waving it aside. Waving it aside. Waving it aside. He kept praying. He kept praying. Then, being not a prayer warrior, lacking the baptism of the Holy Ghost, he was tired. Fell asleep shortly. And that was the moment the enemy took. They fired the arrows into him. By the time he was speaking with me, he was already on the hospital bed. Hospital bed. But he was a wise man. He kept praying the prayer. He kept praying the prayer. He kept praying the prayer. And I warned them that day. Say, Under no situation must you travel anywhere. Until this battle is over. Ah, the man said, I won't travel anywhere. Because his younger brother said, I will travel. I will travel. He left his brother on the hospital bed. He traveled back to the village. We never saw him again. His vehicle collided with a petrol tanker. His vehicle caught fire. It was his ashes that were buried. That brother on the hospital bed was the only one in the family who remained alive and is still alive today after he had defeated the siege I'm praying for somebody here every siege wage against your destiny shall scatter now in the name of Jesus, let your amen roar like thunder. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. We're getting ready for our seven prayers now. Seven siege destroying prayers. After the prayer of today, some people may not want to greet you again it does not matter after the prayer of today some of your staff may resign and say they are going away let them go after the prayer of today you may find dead animals around your house dead birds, dead rats Just dead cats just anoint them and burn them because the arrow of this prayer will visit every coven in this country. All eyes closed. But you see, I'm here to help you. If you are in this meeting, you are not born again. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus. Please, I beg you. 
Before I count ten, run, run to the altar or any of the two altars at the back. So that you can be delivered from the siege. But once I finish counting ten and you're not here, I believe you don't want to defeat the siege. So you say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to defeat every siege in my life. Run quickly to any of the two altars or the one at the back at the front here. Number one, two, three, four, five. Jesus is waiting for you yes, here. You want to surrender your life to Jesus in order to defeat the siege. Don't allow the siege to capture your life. Seven. Eight. Eight. I really must congratulate you. God must have brought you to this meeting for a purpose. Just bow down your heads and see what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here who have taken this most important decision. Father, lay your hands upon them. Keep them standing by your power. Let all their enemies be defeated. Let all their siege be broken to pieces. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you are, the counselors will address you. Listen to them carefully. The rest of us, let's bow down our hands and tell the Lord to forgive you of any sin that will keep any siege in place. Because the siege must be broken. They must be scattered. Talk to the Lord yourself. Let's rise upon our feet, please. And let your voice be as loud as thunder. Anything can happen with these prayers. So don't negotiate. This is not a meeting to negotiate. The first prayer is this. Powers behind my siege. Don't you mean hear the word of the Lord? Destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. 
must destroy themselves. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Maseka tenda ya bo shendera bo kosetende ya ba. Jesus' name we pray. Glory to Jesus. I have a word for somebody. Lord, I should tell you that all those things that have been making you to cry this month they shall become testimonies. Thank you, Jesus. Elijah, Allah, Elijah, Allah, the day ordained terrifying noises, you are the world against my siege. Lord, you see, it don't see me. Can I hear you say that? Everywhere. That if somebody needs to shout this loud. In the name of Jesus. Yes, let the God of Elijah arise. Let him attend terrifying noises against every siege. Riba Sapala Kata. Riba La Campanda Kaya Boshenta. Jesus name we pray. We are making fantastic progress. Bring out your prayer letter. Because we need to pray the other prayers with your prayer letters in your hand. Hold it to your right hand. This is not a day to negotiate. Most of those things that have been written on the letters. There are evidences of sieges. Say, violent angels. From God, let the Lord arise and scatter my siege. And do you don't in the name of Jesus? Open your mouth and call on those violent angels. Scatter my siege. Scatter my seed, scatter my seed. Aha, 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 aha. Masete kaya bo shende la bo sento. Ribo seponde kaya bo shente la ba. In Jesus name we pray. Glory to Jesus. I wish you could see what is happening here. Thank you, Jesus. Now you, the spirit of infirmity, the one in the head, the one in the eyes, the one in the breast, the one in the heart, the one in the kidney, the one in the legs, the one in the breast, the one in the intestine. Your time is up. Your siege is up. Right there where you are. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing now. In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now, this is it. Whether it's your career you want to mention, mention your career. If it's your business, mention your business. Anything you want to mention, mention it now. Say every siege, every siege. against my career. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter the siege. Today is today. Yes. 
na katunda kaya bushente rabo santa rubo sopola kaya bushente rabo kosenta raba sa aha aha thank you jesus yes you yes you aha aha bene bene Jesus then we pray Lord we call Jesus Abadura this next prayer Adura to kan yi you will see what will happen e o do ti o sele every power go gba gbara giving my enemies confidence to fun awon ta mi ni gbekele i bury you now in the name of Jesus open your mouth and say it masika tenda ya boko shende raba i bury you now in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray. Lord God Jesus, la gbadura. Raise up your hand to the heavens. And now what you so care? Say I declare. Go pa she loud and clear. Okay. My siege is over. In the name of Jesus. Declare it loud and clear. My siege is over. Masapi ali katanda. Jesus name we pray. Lord God Jesus, la gadura. Listen. I tell you God. I have a word for somebody here. Mo ni oro fun enikan ni. The Lord said I should tell somebody here. Oluwa ni ki wu fun enikan. That before the next power must change. Eko to di agbara gbodo paro wo to nbo. The progress you will record this month. It as you are to ni ni osu yi. Will be greater than everyone you've recorded in your life. Lord God Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the stubborn witchcraft powers that do not want to let you go, they shall bury themselves. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Final prayer for our nation before we leave this place. Adura to kain, orile de wa ka to kuro ni. Once you hear your language, shout it loud and clear after the prayer warrior. Ojo to ba ti gbo ede lu ti re, ko gbo un soke. If they are not speaking your language, pray it in English. Ni won ba gba Adura won le de ti e, iwo gba ni gesi. Do gba gbara. Ti o fe gbe ayan mo orilede yi mi Every power that wants to swallow the destiny of this country O to ge And no Ude oruga Jesus In the name of Jesus Nigeria die in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray
in Jesus' name we pray. Ko wache iko. Deteke aika chiki Nigeria. Dominta kasha albarku Nigeria. Tamutu. Tamutu. Achiki suna yasu. Tamutu. Duka iko. Na aika aika. Ya kasha albarku Nigeria. Tamutu. Mutu. 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 Achiki suna yasu. In Jesus name we pray. Afra afra arudu. Somebody shall God bless Nigeria. Before you go, you now pray this one. The Lord has said we should be praying this prayer regularly. Any power, Any power. that wants me to suffer what my parents suffered. In the name of Jesus. Bosanti la katanda yaba. Ribo sopo la kaya bosheta. In Jesus name we pray. Glory to Jesus. Na gbadura. The Lord bless you from Zion. Oluayoko kuko la ti so ni wa. I make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. No weapon from against you shall prosper. It is written that you to the hills will raise up your hand. If you that comes your hand. You have come from the Lord who made heaven and Not suffer so your feet to be moved. For if I keep it, you will not slumber. That keep it, you will not slumber. That keep it, you will not The Lord shall keep your going and your coming now. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any plague move near your camp. It is well with you. Elijah said Elisha, we pray. tomorrow about this time there will be plenty okay. I you prophesy 24 hour breakthrough upon your life I prophesy 48 hour breakthrough upon your life I prophesy 72 hour breakthrough upon your life in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus the grace and fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forever surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives we shall dwell in the house of God forever 21 Jubilee Alleluia let us go